members of Congress have gotten in a place where they where they have these uh, young aggressive groups, Freedom Works, uh, lesser extent Club for Growth, that are basically saying, "Do what we tell you to do, or we are going to primary you," and 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 they're they're fed up with it. All right, folks, uh, that is uh, Carl Rove. You know him uh, very well, and of course. Uh, uh, there are some who say that he's running the GOP, and that's the title of a very brilliant column by our very brilliant next guest, Brent Fozell, chairman of For America. Hello, Brent. Hi, how you doing, Steve? I'm doing well. All right, um, you know, uh, very, very good point. Actually, uh, the, 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 the piece I think I'm referring to is at Politico. It's by, uh, I think it's by Glenn Frush. But um, Karl Rove running the GOP, that's not a good thing if you're a conservative, is it? Well, it's not a good thing if you're a Republican either. Um, here's the reality, and, and, and this goes back 30 years. It goes back more than that. When the Republicans distinguish themselves from Democrats, they win. When they try to be Democrat light, they lose. The moderates within the Republican Party lose every time they run as moderates. When they run as conservatives, almost always they win. 2010. The Republican Party ran as a conservative party against Obamacare. They took the House. 2012, they refused to do anything, anything at all on any important issue because they didn't want to rock the House. And remember, it was guaranteed they were going to take the Senate. Instead of taking the six to eight seats, they did what? They lost two. So what did Karl Rove and the moderates do? They turned around and blamed conservatives. And it was all the conservatives' fault, and all they did was thrash conservatives. Where are they now? They should be winning the biggest landslide in history. Think about it, Steve. You're up against the most radical and dangerously inept president in our history with a Democratic Party allied with him. If you can't beat that, you can't beat anything. And what's Karl Rove doing now? He's saying, well, he doesn't have enough money to do it. The point of the matter is it's the policies of the moderates that are killing the Republican Party. And for once and for all, the Republicans had better repudiate them. Well, I, I agree with you. By the way, it is, it is your column at Politico.com. Carl Rove is, is ruining the GOP. I, for some reason, I saw Glenn Thrush's name in there. Anyway, um, so, so how does the Republican Party separate itself from Carl Rove? How do they tell him or why don't they tell him, hey, enough is enough, you know, go away? They, they, they simply return to their base. That's all they have to do. All the Republicans have to do is honor the platform, their own platform. All they have to do is connect with their own grassroots uh, political base. And they've got to tell the Karl Rose of the world who are undermining that. At every Look what they did in Mississippi. McDaniel won that thing. They stole it from him to keep their old, aged, good old boy network going. Look what they're doing in Kansas right now. They're undermining Pat Roberts, Pat Roberts who's not even a conservative, but he's not moderate enough. And the moderates are undermining him. They're costing possibly Kansas and their own majority out of spite. Yeah. And by the way, who's out there working for Pat Roberts, who is no conservative? Ted Cruz, Sarah Palin. All the conservatives are trying to help while he's being kneecapped by the moderates. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And, you know, you talk about in the piece uh, a history lesson. Moderates wanted Gerald Ford and then George H.W. Bush over Ronald Reagan in 76. And similarly, Karl Rove and his friends wanted Arlen Specter over Pat Toomey in, in 010. They wanted Charlie Crist over Marco Rubio. They wanted David Dewhurst over Ted Cruz in 012. Uh, and people have to, in this party, have to you know, wake up and, and understand what you're saying here. They can, they can embrace Rand Paul all they want to after the election. They tried to undermine him. Same thing for Marco Rubio. They try to pretend, well, you know, we really supported him. No, they didn't. They try to undermine him with Charlie Crist. So, and, and so, so what does he do now? He 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 unveils, or he tried to unveil last year, the conservative victory project, which is an intellectual insult. If he wants to have the moderate victory project, have at it, fella. Right. It's gonna work right. very well. Right. So he tried to co-opt it by calling himself a conservative, and he's out there talking about the need to have conservative policies. Well, I don't think he's ever met a conservative policy he liked. Uh, very quickly, For America, how can people uh, find out more about it? Join us, foramerica.org. We have over 6 million Facebook fans. Become a fan. Join our army. We're having a lot of fun. All right, Brent. Always great to talk to you, sir. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, Steve. All right, Brent Bozell, ladies and gentlemen, chairman of For America. Check it out, and uh, you won't be disappointed, I promise. All right, folks, uh, we have a lot more to get to. Uh, the markets, two days ago, it tanked. 
yesterday, rebounded, best day in months. Uh, we'll find out what the markets did today with uh, Rob Williams next, right here on Newsmax TV.